Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Man Zero 4 Hard S Rank Challenge. We're moving on to the final stages of the game. First up is Ragnarok Control. We gotta stop Ragnarok from coming to the Earth and blowing it up and all that good stuff. You know, we gotta be the hero. Yeah, no one cares. We don't care about the story during this. This is the challenge. Nobody cares. If you wanna hear the story about this game, then go somewhere else. But, uh... I thought this stage was going to be really easy, but it turns out it wasn't. But there's no real reason for why it was hard. There's really no difficult enemies. Pretty much all of them go down in your standard one swing. And there's quite a few enemies. There's a lot of those uh, medu hoppers, and they go down pretty quickly. But um, it's segments like this that made this level sort of hard. If I didn't have the double jump right here, uh, this would have been a lot harder. The double jump makes this section a lot easier. You can be a lot less precise with your jumps and still save yourself if you have the double jump. And uh, yeah, take advantage of having the double jump here. And uh, watch out for those spikes because if you're standing on that platform, you are going to get hit. And how did I not get hit right there? I was standing in fire! What, what happened there? What happened? I, I don't know. Great hit detection game. And look, a cutscene, nobody cares. Skip it. Okay, look who it is! It's Kraft! It's time for a rematch! And this fight is pretty much exactly the same as the first fight. In fact, he only has one more attack, and I'll talk about that when he actually does it. I don't think there's any other differences with the fight. He seems to use all the same attacks, and they seem to be the same thing, you know, nothing different. They might, or Kraft might move a little bit quicker than he did before, but I, I don't think so. Might be true, but as far as I know, it's practically the same fight. So use the same tactics you did before. And here's the newest attack. He shoots a giant laser in the middle of the room and then shoots down a bazillion missiles. Stand in one of the corners of the room and then double jump when the third set of missiles comes towards you. It's it's kind of tricky to dodge, but once you get the hang of it, you should dodge it every time. And uh, yeah, just continue to hit him with uh, your saber. And I should have got a 100 on this stage, but... He got two hits on me. I, I do get a 99. I should have got a 100, but whatever. It doesn't matter. A 99 is still good, because at this point in the game, my average can't go down really low. I'll explain more about that when we hit the final stage. But uh, yeah, a 99. Um, next up, we go to the teleporter base, and that's a pretty interesting level. I'll see you then.